In this video, we will solve a problem on profit maximization. This question was asked by a brother on YouTube. The question is like this. Given total revenue function is total revenue is equal to 4350Q minus 13Q square. Q denotes the output. And we are being given the total cost function is TC is equal to Q cube minus 5.5Q square plus 150Q plus 675 we have to first maximize the profit function the question says as this second find the critical point is where profit is maximum and test the second order condition and also calculate the maximum profit okay so given that total revenue function and total cost function first we need to find out the profit function so profit let us denote it by pi is equal to we know profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost okay this is the simple thing when we subtract the total cost from the total revenue we get the profit and total revenue is being given us is so our total revenue function is so that means our pi is equal to so total revenue function is uh, 4 3 5 naught q minus 13 q square to this we subtract the total cost so total cost is uh, q cube minus 5.5 q square uh, plus 150 q plus 675 solving again so this becomes 4350 q minus 13 q square minus q cube minus into minus is plus 5.5 q square minus into plus is minus 150q and then we have minus 675 okay so we have 4350q and 150q since they are the same terms we can subtract them so when uh, subtracting 150 from 4350 we get 4200q and we have minus 13 q square plus 5.5 q square they are the same terms we can do the operation here so minus 13 plus 5.5 this comes out to be minus 7.5 q square then we have uh, minus this q cube and then minus 675 so this is our profit function okay to maximize profit function what we do okay for maximum okay for maximizing profit function we take the first derivative of profit function with respect to output and set it equal to zero this is the profit maximizing condition what we call the first order condition the first derivative of profit function with respect to output set it equal to zero this is our first order condition for profit maximization so and this is our profit function derivative of this function with respect to q so derivative of q is 1 so we are left with 4200 minus derivative of q square is 2q so 2 into 7.5 comes out to be 14q derivative of q cube is uh, 3q square 3 becomes coefficient exponent is subtracted by 1 so we have minus 3q <coughs> sorry this comes out to be 15 7.5 into 2 this is 15 so 3q square derivative of a constant is equal to 0 so we set it equal to 0 so the first derivative of profit function with respect to output should be equal to 0 this is the first derivative of profit function with respect to output and we set it equal to 0 okay now solving for q so let us rewrite it in this fashion so we have minus 3 q square minus 15 q uh, plus 4 to double 0 set it equal to 0 
so let's make the coefficient of q square 1 so dividing you know both sides by 3 so here we have 3 3 3 and 3 so we get minus q square minus uh, 5 q uh, plus 3 ones are 3 3 fours are 12 we get 1400 and we set it equal to 0 okay now we can you know rearrange this in this fashion if i multiply both sides by minus 1 so i will get q square plus 5 q minus 1 4 0 0 and we set it equal to 0 so this is the quadratic equation let us use the quadratic formula let us say the coefficient of q square is 1 and which is obviously and let us say this is equal to a coefficient of q is 5 let us say this is b coefficient this is a constant term so let us say this is c using the quadratic formula that means our q will be equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac upon 2a okay this is simple formula i hope you know it very well now our q will be equal to then so we have minus from the formula b is 5 plus minus we have b square that means 5 square minus 4 from the formula a is 1 the coefficient of q square and c is our minus 1400 divided by 2 a is 1 that gives us q will be equal to minus 5 plus minus 5 square is 25 minus into minus is plus 4 into 1400 let us see we have 1400 into 4 so this is uh, 4 4 are 16 4 ones are 4 target 5 so I should draw 5 6 0 0 yet it divided by 2 which gives us minus 5 plus minus so this becomes uh, 5 6 uh, 2 5 upon 2 and under root of 5 6 2 5 let's take so making the pairs from the right side so we have uh, sorry 7 7s are 49 uh, 6 minus 9 it will come out to be the now the kaba throughout the panda so this comes out to be 7 and this is 4 minus 4 we have 2 5 this 7 gets doubled it becomes 14 so we have 14 5 into 5 5 5 is a 25 uh, 5 4 is a 20 21 22 5 ones are 5 6 7 so this comes out to be 75 so we are left with q is equal to minus 5 plus minus 75 upon 2 which implies either either okay mm, spelling the game is e i t h e r either q is equal to minus 5 plus 75 upon 2 which gives us 75 upon 2 it will uh, 70 upon 2 which gives us 30 rather 35 is the value of q or q is equal to minus 5 minus 75 upon 2 which is 80 upon 2 which is minus 40 so we reject the negative value here negative quantity we take this q is the positive quantity okay so that means our output we got two critical points here q is equal to minus 40 and q is equal to 7 uh, 35 so profit is maximized when output is you know 35 we cannot take the negative quantity into consideration if we take and we can also see it will not you know uh, satisfy the second order condition okay so let me rub this out we got 
two things here we got uh, q is equal to 35 and q is equal to minus 40 okay these are the two critical values and let me rub this out this was for the calculation part so the critical point is uh, where the profit, uh, profit is maximum is when q is equal to 35 and we got two points now we need to check the second order condition for maximum okay second order condition uh, for maximum means we take the second derivative oh zua so second order condition for maximum requires the second derivative of profit function with respect to output when evaluating at critical point let us say critical point is q is equal to 35 it should be less than zero okay this is the first derivative which we calculated now second derivative will be the derivative of the first derivative which implies let's take the second derivative derivative of a constant is zero derivative of q is minus 15 okay then derivative of q square is uh, 2q so 2 into 3 is minus 6q 6q it should come out to be less than 0 so um, for second order condition to be satisfied so we got 6q we have minus 15 and we evaluated it the critical point we have minus 6 into 35 when you solve this it will come out to be minus 6 uh, you know 630 which is less than 0 okay when q is equal to 35 our second order derivative comes out to be negative that means the second order condition for maximum is being satisfied when q is equal to 35 and you can also see if we put q is equal to 35 q is equal to 40 here so we have minus 50 uh, then we have minus 6 uh, into minus 40 uh, this is minus 15 minus minus is plus uh, 6 zeros are 0 6 4 are 24 this will come out to be positive so this cannot be our answer okay so the first all uh, you know explanation is our our output cannot be negative second uh, we can also see from the uh, you know uh, checking the second order derivative when we check the second order de derivative and evaluate it at when q is equal to minus 40 the second order derivative comes out to be negative okay so this cannot be uh, you know the correct uh, or rather the plausible quantity here so uh, profit is maximized when q is equal to 35 and uh, second order condition has also been satisfied so first order condition let me again write it first order condition requires derivative of profit function with respect to output should be equal to zero after that we check the second order condition by taking the second derivative of that is d square pi upon dq square and evaluate it at critical points and it should be less than zero both the conditions are being satisfied now the question asks us to calculate the maximum profit okay so for that let me rub this out so for maximum profit so our maximum profit will be equal to so our profit function is this uh, 4 to double zero q minus 7.5 q square minus q cube minus 675 just plug the this quantity the critical point that is q is equal to 35 here so we have 4 to double zero into 35 minus 7.5 35 square minus 35 cube minus 675 it will come out uh, a number i have calculated it it comes out to be 94262.5 but i'm not sure about the, this calculation okay so and the maximum profit will be this i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you